What it is, what it is, what it is, YouTube, you know who it is. It's your boy, the Moose. Let's kick it. Welcome to Manic Music Monday! Okay, I have a treat. Okay, so let's recap. Um, Saturday was a bomb. Um, let's get that out of history. Uh, I left the video up because I wanted people to know that I still did the video even though you couldn't hear me. Um, now you can hear me. Uh, today, we are talking about Salina. Okay, so how this conversation, one of my boys, uh, DJ Cool Thing, um, is going to be doing a Spanish uh, child's birthday. And what more could I do to suggest Salina? Um, the reason I suggested her is because it's perfect. Um, if you are familiar with Selena, um, then I will bore you with the topic that we're going to go into. So let's get into this. Um, I have the Wikipedia of her, and we're going to read about it because I want you to kind of get an understanding of what I'm talking about. Now, if I don't mention some names, Stop right there. If I pronounce anything wrong in this video, please forgive me. Hit it! Okay. So, this is what Manic Music Monday is, is building up. We're going to talk about a song, and then we're going to go through it. I think this is the best way to show um, uh, new inspiring DJs different avenues of music. Um, if you have a topic for next week's Manic Music Monday and you want to know more about, leave in the comment below on what you would like and want. Um, hopefully by next week, all the, uh, all the stuff will be in and I will be able to go ahead and do more. Um, my plan with this is... To add the music into my DJ channel, uh, into my software, into my Roland 505, and go ahead and play you a clip, and go ahead and edit the song so that I don't get blasted on YouTube. Now, if this video gets flagged, um, I'll have to edit the song, but um, I'm trying to do this so that I don't get flagged because I'm talking about artists. I'm talking about mainstream, no stream. I'm talking about all the artists and their songs and what they put out and everything. So let's get into Selena. Um, Selena. Not Selena Gomez. Selena. Okay. So Selena Perez. I'm not going to uh, try to pronounce that last name. If you can, um, go ahead. Um, um, it, it basically shows you down here, Kane uh, Etiana Perez uh, was an American songwriter, spokesperson, businesswoman, model, actress, and fashion designer, referred to as the Queen of Tejano uh, music. Her contributes to the music and her fashions made her one of the most celebrated Mexican-American entertainers in the 20th century. Nobody knew her until she was murdered. Let me get that straight. Nobody up north of Texas 
Missouri or anything, did not hear from her until she got murdered. Let me get that straight. The, the communities that she came through, she did a lot of uh, artistry around Texas. Um, I don't know about California or anything like that. I know she did a lot of Texas and she did a lot of Mexico. So that is one of the things I know. So let's get in and read more about it. Um, it might tell me more. Some uh, media outlets called her uh, the teen, the Tejano Madonna for her clothing choices. She also ranks among the most influential Atlantis artists of all time and is credited to capturing the musical genre into Main Street Market. And there's a picture of her and she was born in Lake Jackson, Texas and then murdered in Corpus Christi at the age of 23. Um, Subcarnable Army. And way to go. Um, she dressed in um, Corpus, so if you're ever down in Corpus, uh, there's a statue on the pier. Uh, they have all kinds of stuff there. Um, basically, um, Chris, uh, he was the guitarist of her band. Um, and, and Abram, her father, was uh, very um, influential to her um, and her brother. And then her sister. They, I don't, I'm surprised they didn't put her sister in here because her father wanted the band. Um, so, um, the youngest child of the Quintana family, she debuted in the music scene in 1981 as a member of the band of Selena Los Dinos. Uh, which also indicated her uh, elder sibling, A.B. Um, Guantanilla. Now he uh, is very popular in uh, Cumbia Kings. So if you ever heard of Cumbia Kings, um, he's very uh, popular with Cumbia Kings because he's the, uh, the founder of Cumbia Kings. So, um, and then Susan, Suzette, is her sister. And her uh, the sister was the drummer uh, he was, I think, the, the guitarist, and, and uh, so anyway, uh, she began recording in 1981. In the 80s, she was often criticized for refuse and, and was refused bookings at venues across Texas from performing Tejano music, a male-dominated music genre. However, her popularity grew after she won the Tejano Music Award for female vocalists in 1987, which she won nine consecutive times since signing to EMI Latin in 1989 and was re and released her self-titled debut album the same year. While her brother became her principal music producer and songwriter, Selena uh, released uh, Entre Mia Manu Mundo which peaked at number one uh, at the regional Mexican uh, albums uh, charts for eight consecutive months. The album's commercial success led to music critics to call it a, the breakthrough recorded of her musical career. And one of its singles, Como La Flor, became one of the most signature songs live. Won Best Mexican Music in America album in 1994. 1984 in a Grammys becoming the, the first recording by a, a female Tejano uh, artist to do so in 1984. She released Homo Pavovo, um, which became one of the best Latin albums in the United States and was critically acclaimed as re being responsible for Tejano music, first marketplace era, and to become one of the most popular Latin music subgenres at the time. Selena was shot and killed on March 31st, 1995, 16 days before her 28th birthday by Yolanda Salvador, her friend and former manager of her Selena Actis Poquit. Salvador was 
informed by police when she attempted to flee and threatened to kill herself but was convinced to give herself up and was sentenced to life in prison without possible parole. Two weeks later, Texas Governor George W. Bush declared Selena's birthday. Selena Day in Texas. Pretty dang good. So, that is George Walker Bush. And remember, there's George H. Bush, which is uh, which is the daddy uh, of the three of the of the the, the, the Bush kids. Uh, there's a lot of them. I don't know how many, but um, uh, George W. was a big uh, popularity down here in Texas. Um, so basically, he did something right. So I just want to um, do this, and I want to say this, that she did make, uh, they did make a movie on her life, uh, Selena, um, and it starred Jennifer Lopez, um, which did a wonderful uh, job, but as you can see that now, let's get into the music part. So that's that. Um, I will drop you um, the music part after I say this to you. Um, a lot of times in and music there's influences from all genres of life um, as DJs we need to get and embrace the music and that's what this Manic Music Monday is is talking about embracing different kinds of music different kinds of genres different kinds of, of things that we don't know by investigating and learning about those genres, we could be so... Now, I'm gonna use this as a pro tip. This is the big tip. If you're a DJ and you're not in down here and you don't have no, no, um, no gigs at all with anything, I'm, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna say this. If you do not have any like uh, Latin, uh, Latino, or Latina, or any birthday parties, or um, any Spanish, or um, Cuban, or, or any Puerto Rican parties, um, you really don't understand. But a lot of people, the first thing they do is they're like, well, I'm not going to play that because I don't know it. As DJs, this place right here, this brought music to the forefront. Um, it did something that a lot of, of a lot of people wouldn't think that MTV ever did. If you ever look back at MTV, you'll understand what I'm saying. MTV was like a big influence on American culture and music. But what I want to say to you is, is this: this is a big one. Is getting into different ideas fundamentals of music and learning about that music is something that we're talking about and the reason why I'm discussing this and I have this Manic Music Monday because nobody ever touches nobody ever touches it. they don't want to touch the music they don't want to get into the music they don't want to talk about the, the especially the passion that she had towards music. If you ever watched the movie, you kind of get an idea. But her brother, her sister, and her, her dad put them on stage for Lastino, for Lastinos. So Selena was the Lastinos. So if, if you understand what I'm saying, she played at their restaurant and, and everything else. And she did something that a lot of people wouldn't do or she crossed over and and this is something that I want to pro tip on this DJs crossing over isn't bad it's a good thing she sang English you gotta watch if you watch the movie it doesn't do no justice towards her life 
but you kind of get an understanding of what I'm saying. And her mother showed her all kinds of different ways to, she said, like a washing machine. It's a good movie. You have to watch Selena. Uh, the Honol music is dominated. And it's male dom denominated. If you ever go and you see what I'm talking about. Now, uh, females get into it a little bit, but it's male dominated music. Male dominated. And I'm not a chauvinist. I don't want to be. But I am going to tell you this. You need to check this kind of music out. If you're doing a kid's party, throw in Selena. Throw in a little bit of Selena. Uh, now, she made a bunch of albums, um, English and Spanish. So, um, get into that. Check it out. You will not be sorry for doing that. But just remember one thing. Play carefully. If you get into Tejano music or get into any kind of Spanish music, make sure that you know what you're playing. Because sometimes Spanish music can be very sexual. So that just being said, it's very, very, very passionate. So they sing from their heart and they're very passionate about their music. So, if you are doing a party for a, for a child or a teenager, get with the parents. Um, usually, if you talk to the mother, the mother would be the best person to talk to. The father's okay, but the mother of the daughter or the son of us, us of the Spanish or the Latin, or however you want to report a week on a Cuban, or, um, see, it's, it's, it goes on, it goes, the list goes on, so this is like a subgenre of subgenres. It basically like rock and roll, and then you have rockabilly, and then you have, so that's why we're getting into this. We're doing genres, subgenres, and all kinds of stuff. And there's not one thing that we're going to leave for not going to underturn. And remember this. MTV started out playing music. That's what they started out doing now. I'm going to leave you with this. I followed the Mandalorian. And I've been watching The Mandalorian since it came out. But one of the one of the clips was the Mandalorian and Bubba Fat's son and two women of the guard or something. I think they were from um, I think they were from um, uh, what was it called? Uh, they were from the planet that Princess Leia was from that got destroyed. Um, they made a comment, and one of the comments was. Great, we're saved. One X-Wing fighter. But the person inside the X-Wing fighter was Luke Skywalker. And he came in and he helped them. And he got the baby from the Mandalorian. And that scene was just so dramatic. Great, we're saved. One X-Wing fighter. You gotta check it out. I'm not gonna play it because this needs a big time. Uh, no play zone. <laughs> Anyways, so, um. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Peace.